This is the Blockade Pinball Podcast. I'm your host, Chris Freebus. Joining me, as always, halfway across the world, is Jared Morgan. Hello, everybody. How are you going? All right. Well, it is a uh, another, well, what, two weeks, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Since yeah, last time. Another two weeks. Yeah, I don't know. What is going on? Um, I'm hungry, Jared. Yeah. That's what's going on. Stuff and things. You're hungry. Yes, You're hungry. I'm, I'm hungry. Um, I've... Uh, well, I'll be 50 at the end of this month, and mm. I, that means, you know, doctor's appointment for a physical, and I didn't feel You're like right. going in there uh, unprepared. <laughs> right. So it was like, you know what, it's time to uh, to shed a few pounds. So my New Year's right resolution um, through the end of February was to dismiss with the Slurpees, which I was having daily. Oh, uh, oh no. Don't have any soda, which isn't that much of a difficulty for me, but it was starting to get mm. excessive even all the same. Um, yeah. No desserts, which is very painful. So I'm not cutting mm. out sugar completely, but it's very minimal now. And then yeah. for the month of February, I decided to up the ante because I, I indeed was losing weight. Um, but I decided to up the ante, and uh, now I'm doing this intermittent fasting thing where it's you can eat for eight hours but then you gotta fast for 16 i'm hungry oh, jared okay. <laughs> yeah that that you would be oh let me just wipe my screen oh, yeah wipe that screen there there, there. there we go there we go ah there oh. we go oh, make sure you t- make sure you tip the guy um <laughs> yeah that's right uh, <laughs> there you go um so yeah you would be hungry uh that's that's not fun at all no i mean and unfortunately i guess i unfortunately it's working <laughs> So it's working, but you hate it. I hate Thanks, it. I hate it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, so I, I mean, it. just with the since I started this, I've lost fifteen pounds. And fifteen. Oh, wow. Okay. And well, how many kilos this, is that? Like three? I, I don't know. Something. I don't know. I don't do kilos. Mm. <laughs> and, Conversions and, are hard. And then just with this last week, because this last week was the first week that I tried the intermittent fasting, um, I dropped three just in that span oh okay so we'll see what happens by the end of february but i'm hungry <laughs> yeah that's why i don't diet yeah i should too um because i've put on pandemic weight but um i didn't set myself a new year's resolution so i'm okay <laughs> whatever i like <laughs> well, I was gonna say that, that is the good thing that is the good thing the the covid 30 is gone so the covid 30 the, right the covid 30 is gone so that's yeah All right <laughs> That's good. But yep. I think I've put on uh about eight kilos since over the last two years. Mm. Um and that's not muscle. So. <laughs> <laughs> so I do have i am carrying a bit extra at the moment. I, I seem to be hovering around hundred kilograms for ages. That seemed to be my weight, but I definitely put on more. So yeah, it's, I just it's... need to exercise more, basically. Because I want to stop eating. So if you don't stop eating, you gotta exercise more. This is how it works. Yeah, I, and I don't really have the time well i shouldn't say i don't have the time for exercise it's i don't have the motivation for exercise um, i'd imagine though that you you actually get probably a fair bit of like like um exercise when you're walking around the park i get my i get about twelve thousand steps a day that's pretty uh, good walking the park which translates roughly to about five miles um so and that's a, that's probably helping oh no it, it undoubtedly helped when i first started in september um to the point in January, I had dropped, what, 13 pounds or so? Just, oh. like, changing nothing other than just being there working. So Right, okay. Um, that's what kind of motivated me to uh, to do other. Um, mm. But, yeah, I just, you know, I didn't want to be the uh, cliche pinball player. <laughs> oh, yeah, because uh, we, we tend to be on, on the round side. The, the pinball um, bod. <laughs> that's right. Particularly, um, you know, the... You know the 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 nineties. Oh, we're having generation issues today. Yes. Yeah, the not the the nineteenth. Oh crap! So the the uh, he's, I'm back again. Yeah, I don't know. I'm frozen. <laughs> oh no, here we go. I'm I'm back again. Um, so yeah, the the nineties generation. Um, yes, pinball players. We're yeah. we're all the same size as the balls now. <laughs> <laughs> We got some we got some bumpers on us. Um we do. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh 
Yeah, so wish me luck, everybody. We'll uh, yeah, good luck. I'll, I'll survive the rest of this month, I'm sure. Um, little uh, heads up news, folks. Uh, we're not going to spoil who it is or what it is, but we've got a new interview that's going to be uh, coming soon that we're kind of excited mm. about. With uh, that's gonna be awesome. Something completely different than what we normally. Well, not completely different, but uh, it's not related to Zen. <laughs> no, it's not. So that will be a change. Yes. Yeah. So that should be. Coming up soon. We're kind of we haven't been made aware of um, when we'll be able to post. Um, we just yeah, know when right. we're going to be able to record it. So that's right. Yeah, and that's all that really matters to us. That is that <laughs> at is. the moment. Yes. Um, but now is as good as time as any because oh, we're also going to have some giveaways related to this. So uh, make sure you follow us on the old Twitter and mm-hmm. uh, you know subscribe to this channel so that you can. Be in the loop so that maybe you can win the giveaways that we're uh, doing. It's minor giveaways, but they're fun all the same. Uh, they are fun. We don't give away things usually, so no, not normally. Uh, but yeah, tune in. Of, it's gonna be a fun time. Yeah. Speaking of giving away, uh, the pinball show aired last week. Oh, shut up, phone. Um, <laughs> Everyone wants a piece of you today, Chris. Right. Um, yep. <laughs> I should really mute those things before we start recording. Uh, no, I do because I normally get CGM alarms like happening right throughout the show oh, if right. I don't. So yeah. it's like a mute, mute, mute. Right. Okay, take two on that. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pinball Show last week, um, they dropped all sorts of information that was uh, uh, nuggets. Juicy and tasty. Yeah, uh, yeah. as well as uh, dropping a host of new visuals. So we're going to kind of go through some of that stuff and... Uh, Give our reaction. If you saw the title of the show, you know our reaction is positive. Um, so not necessarily mm. spoiler alert, but <laughs> what do you want to start with, Jared? What do you want to talk about first? Let's start with just the in-game vision, the rolling vision of the game. Um, I think let's just dive straight in. The rolling vision, i.e. what we saw with Indiana Jones or... What I think that's probably well. Let, let's go with that first. What have you got queued up? Um, <laughs> let's start with that. Right, I was like, I didn't, I didn't have any of noir queued up. <laughs> so we're yeah. gonna go Indiana Jones. Hey, folks, let's, let's do, do you, that. Right. So what do you say we? Uh, let me go full screen on that. And yeah, we're muted because this will not pass uh, copyright uh, circumspection if I play the music. Let's see what okay. the trailer is for Indiana Jones, and uh, we're just kind of kind of watch this all together. What do you say, yeah. huh? Yeah, let's um, let's do it. Let's go just hit the old play button and Jared can tell me when to pause when necessary. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, the classic. They don't do this in movies anymore, do they? No, they don't. I'm just no. going to pause that right there. Yep. I said I said pause it right there and then it didn't pause right there. Let's go back. Yeah. There we go. A little close up. There, there we go. There we go. That Look at look at some of this beautiful stuff that we got going on here. Um, look at the re- like the chrome. Yeah, the chrome like. is pretty strong. I'm just going to point right to this corner here. Look at that. Just yeah. nice little kick that's going on there. We've got the little uh, uh-huh. warble. The, the, um, yeah, a little bit of like metallic, m- metallic distortion bend. there. Yeah, distortion going on. The yeah. uh, the gold. Oh, why did you start playing? Uh, look at that, though. Wow, wow, wow. Just, yeah, it's, it's just, like all yeah, over Just look place. at everything. Just blah, 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 blah. Should we just play it through all the way? Uh, let's just well, let's, let's just, go back a little bit. Okay, we're gonna go back a little bit. Yeah, this is. You just have to make sure you don't click on the screen because it unpauses know, right? as soon as you. Well, I'm gonna yeah. move that over there, and we'll let that go. Yep. So Some there's good lighting there's, effects going on there. There's amazing lighting effects. Ah, uh, and then the added, the added visual extras. The rain, which actually sweet. seem. Oh man, that rain looks so. Good. And this is amazing. Like the actual center, the center video screen. Mm-hmm. That's really cool very very cool all right let's see if we can uh, now go back and actually pause on an image or two let's scrub <laughs> that video a uh bit. we're gonna, gonna go right back over to that image right there yeah okay so here's what i like seeing i like seeing that the inserts are nicely lit but they're not blown out yep um, and you can see the jeweling really jeweling. clearly in them yes mm. that is a uh very welcome sight to see uh not that zen had a problem with it in their previous iteration with uh no. what we're looking at here this would definitely be the 
uh, Unreal, or not the Unreal, they're gonna, all going to be Unreal Engine, the uh, PinFX version, probably yes. with the ray tracing and whatnot. Uh, I'd say this is definitely kit. ray traced. As opposed to the FX3 version, and we're going to actually look at a little side-by-side that uh, Pinball Wiz 45B had whipped up and posted. Mm. So, credit! Um, <laughs> yeah. But, no, I just I just like that the... the uh, the lighting is very nice, and the the metal is looking rather good. Um, I don't know if we yeah. can see. I seem to remember that in the game, the rails are actually gold. Yeah. So you can see that slight gold tinge to the chrome right. in the way they've done it. Right. Um, but I remember that the, the, the rails were like really quite, like really gold, quite prominently gold in the game. So I think they've got a little bit of... I don't know where they could bump the the color difference right. up a little bit because they're almost yellow. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I mean, I'm as not completely not upset. They're definitely not dull. You can see reflection even on the surface of the rails. Mm-hmm. You could see quite a lot of like reflective elements on it. So this thing's reflecting off everything that's shiny, uh, which is really cool. I also like that the lighting here is not just a uniform blanket lighting. I mean, if you look down at the flippers, it's dark, which is what happens typically on yeah. these older tables. Um, they didn't have lighting blasting from the... Uh, apron. From the th- yeah, from the apron. So you That's just right. had your GI lighting right under the uh, sl- the, the inlane right I've there. I've seen more and more sterns, modern sterns, that actually have spotlights that shine on the flippers from mm-hmm. the apron now. That mm-hmm. seems to be a new thing they're doing, which I guess is a good idea because... It addresses this problem, um, but yeah, back then it was um, playing in playing in a dark room or a dark pub was yeah. a challenge. It added a layer of challenge to playing. Uh, there we see. Uh, so the ball trail is going to be a smoke trail. It looks like. I personally yeah. never play with the ball trails. I don't like them. No, uh, I, I tend not to either. I find them distracting. Uh, so that's like yeah. the first thing that I'll- I always turn off. <laughs> I'll play with the visual effects yes. all day. I'll play with the visual effects, um, but I turn that off. Um, yeah, the ball trails, no. Particularly when you got the ball trails were there when you had um, screens that couldn't really handle motion blur that well, right? Because it allowed you to track the ball. But now, you know, most computers can run displays that are 144 hertz. Okay, and you, you get very, you basically don't get any motion blur look at up all here anymore. At the green light with it off, mm-hmm. and look at the background yeah. here. Okay, as yep. I go to this, uh, where did I go? I wanted that green light to come back on. Uh, there. See how it all of a sudden lit up? Yep. This streak right it, here. Like, yep, it casts light everywhere. Which is a good sign. <laughs> you know, that was like... Um, right there on the uh, on the ramp. Um, that was the thing that so we had this an is... issue with, with uh, Pinball Arcade. Yes, that's right. No light casting. Mm-mm. And this reminds me very much of, you know, what you saw in um, Time Shock, Pro Pimble Time Shock. Mm-hmm. Like it's uh, that level of light casting. Mm-hmm. Up until now, it's only really been available if you pre render. Yeah. Um, so we're seeing this live dynamic lighting and now. You can even which see just gets the, the lighting down here by the, uh, the in lane. Because that's mm-hmm. not the light; that's the reflection of the light on the table. The light is obviously underneath. The, the actual element the, the, is up higher, right? And so this yeah, is you're seeing actually it. casting the reflection down here. Um, mm-hmm. Those, these are all the little things that just like make me happy. Because <laughs> you know? it, what it does is it makes the illusion of playing digital pinball so much more. Yeah. Um, you get that feeling that hey, this is actually a real thing that I'm interacting with here. Yeah. I um, still. And- wish the flippers on zen they still look very digital to me i mean like like i want them to be more plastic i want them to look photorealistic so you want that real sort of shiny plastic look to them not the dull matte finish yeah and i think that's that's kind of my one gripe um and it's even the bigger plastics up here uh they look great and i mean it's a hard, it's a fine balance because honestly, this looks like mm. a Zen table. It looks like what Zen produces, and so it's yes. uniform with the rest of their stuff. 
So yeah, that's right. on that end, I'm like, yay. But in terms of if anybody is going, yeah, but it still is not as fabulous as it can look. No, I agree. You know, we could have these things look photorealistic. Um, I mean, there that was a, th- a thing in a thread um, that we read. Yeah. That people were going, you know, you can use Vimble, Visual Pimble X. And there was like a, a shot of a really nicely done Adam's Family table. And the thing looked like a photograph. Yeah. It was amazing. That being said, Zen is also being keenly aware of keeping their file sizes down. Yeah, and that um, makes a big file size. That makes it when you have a hundred tables that are of that size, suddenly you don't have a computer that can hold all the tables. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, you, so, you have to make some hard choices yeah, about make what some games you keep on you. Uh, yeah, let's pause. So it's, over it's here. struck in the balance, isn't it? Like it is. It is. I mean. Like I said, I'm not in the least disappointed with what I'm seeing here. I'm going to enjoy the hell out of it, and it looks fabulous. And It does. Um, I'm not necessarily looking for it to fool me into thinking I'm playing a real table. Because um, I know what it is. It's yeah. a video game on my, on my screen. Exactly. Like, you know. Exactly. Um, I mean, sure, if those people were cabinets, I'm sure they'd appreciate like the, the high-resolution sure. stuff. But, but look at this. You know, that's... This is phenomenal detail. Even to the point that on the stickers you can see the uh, I always forget what they call that the the pointed pointy dot uh, <laughs> four ink process the, that um, well half tones uh, the screen printing yeah, yeah. the half tones the yeah. half tones um, you can even see the half tones on here it's not just all smoothed out uh, you know on the lettering you can see the half tones um, mm-hmm. and this is just you know random angle that they're zooming in on uh, everything is high res all the way to the back. To the background. Just look at the clarity of those pop bumpers. Mm-hmm. Like the the actual lids on the pop bumpers mm-hmm. are super super clear. Yeah, I mean, you know, you and see the screw holes and everything. It's, it's... everything is there. Because remember, in in you know, there was uh, in Pimble Arcade on some of these tables, there was like heavy missing level of details or LED yeah. because they just couldn't do the polys. But there's so many polys on this. Look at them. Like the everything is so smooth. And yeah. even the um, like take a look at the that um, raised jackpot um, play field protector just uh, behind the drop targets, you know. Yeah. Oh, that? Where, yeah, that. So you can even see, like, the art, that there's, like, a clear perspex sort of mm-hmm. layer to it over and above what you would normally sort of expect to see on plastic mm-hmm. like that. It's very, very, very sort of, like, all this, all the textures are really, really detailed. You know, you can tell that there's a bit of a plastic over this. You know, obviously that clear mm-hmm. plastic that Zen does very well. Um, I wonder what that blue line is though, like on that ramp. Right there? That's not there normally. Yeah. Good question. That's not generally there. It seems like a seam. So I have a feeling that might go. Because mm-hmm. uh, yeah, that's not there. It's a black. It's a black line on okay. the um on the uh, original game. I think from memory. Um. But uh, yeah, but just take a look at the idol though. Like yeah. that's got like that real that sort of chrome texture. So that's the color that the rails need to be. Yeah, because that's that that's basically the gold tone that's in the game. Okay. Um. So yeah, if they can get that on the rails, it'll just look amazing. Um. It's like a brush gold. I mean, you can even see. Look at this. You can see the table reflecting in in the plastic. The plastic there. Yeah. yeah that's really nice this is this is where i think unreal is helping them out immensely and if we look at the ball here i'm trying to think of it i mean it doesn't i'm trying to see what it's reflecting if it's doing real-time reflection it is because they they covered that in um the noir video which we might be able to queue up later on okay um because they yeah the ball reflection in noir was like they they had the ball on the play field yeah. stationary they yeah. held it there yeah. and all the play field was reflected around the ball uh, like it was very cool so we can pretty much expect that i tell you i, I haven't seen an indiana jones with this much shiny chrome for a while because normally it's worn off and like the ball is burnished lines right. you know Travel lines and all the chrome, but oh, this, is, this looks like, like it's fresh out of the oh, box. That effect? This is the uh, this is the uh, uh, enhanced visuals mode. Yeah, the enhanced visuals. Mm-hmm. There's a nice idol at the top. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, the, uh, what's the, the thing medallion. on the medallion? That's what that is. Yeah, right. Yeah, the medallion because that features in medallion video mode. So it might be interesting to see what happens when these video modes come up. Because right. I mean, you know, you got Castle, a Castle Grunewald. I think that's how you pronounce it. Yeah. 
um, you know, in the game, that changes the environment. So I wonder if they've actually done a different environmental effect for each mode in the game. Oh, that'd be cool. Because that would be pretty cool if they did. Well, of souls, I would love it if it went through and somehow melted somebody's face. Uh, oh, it has to. It has <laughs> to do for that. the arc, I should say, not the well of souls, the arc. Um, it seemed like there was stuff coming out of the arc at one point. I right. think that may be in multiple. Maybe. maybe. I don't know. We got the tank here, which is kind of cool. So those are always going to be uh, the airplanes. You notice are absent at the moment. Mm, because they fly around. They fly around. <laughs> yeah. Um, we do like a bit of dragon action. In, right. The um, Zeppelin's like been added. Of... Yep. Uh, what else Let the planes here? fly. That's it's actually good because the, the, the planes actually did block a fair bit of the play field. Like, they look cool, <laughs> but they were kind of in the way. Um. That's a bit of licensing indie... that uh, Zen paid for. <laughs> mm, yeah, a little bit. And uh, he has to have a platform to stand on, so they had to give him a clear Perspex platform over that area of the play field. Yeah. Which, is, which is funny because like, if you've ever played this game, you shoot the drop targets and the ball flies over to that area of the play field. I just wonder if like, when the ball does that, you're actually going to get an interaction with yeah. Indy. <laughs> it's hit the nuts or something like that. Because <laughs> really, it would be about nut height for the uh, character <laughs> when the ball comes flying over there. <laughs> Uh, what else can we show here that uh, we like to... Oh, here's where it starts to get a little bit dark mode. Let me... Uh, mm. There you go. So look at that. Look at how get dark the, the playfield is now down on the bottom. That's beautiful. That's what I wish yeah, it, that's... it was just like permanently. <laughs> yeah, that's, that is how it is um, when you play it. Yeah. Uh, in a dark room. It looks great. No pin stadium lighting here. Mm -mm. Ooh, a little lightning but effect then watch, going on. But when you see the lightning effect, it actually affects the play field mm -hmm. as well like you see mm -hmm. it lighting up the rails and interacting with the actual play field like casting a bit of light on it again so that it's... green glow look at it just you know casting on the, the uh, zeppelin there yeah just imagine what attack from mars is going to look like with this treatment yeah imagine what strobe multiball is going to look like yeah with this ray tracing i it's love this edition oh yeah having like a video a video screen in the middle mm -hmm. of that area is like a perfect use for that area yeah and this is this is the interesting thing what we're seeing here potentially could be how they get around like not up sampling or like you know color dmding things they're going to pick a part of the play field to replace with a video screen and put stuff into it uh... um in the enhancement i think this is what we're going to see as a trend in some of these more newer um Belly Williams tables yeah. that they're going to. But I mean, you look at this. Over. This is them animating it. This isn't footage. From this is not movie footage. No. No, it's not. This is Zen animating. It's really good animation too. So, that's... Yeah. Uh... Again, what they've done is, is essentially they it's in keeping with the art on the play field. Have yeah. you noticed that? Yeah. Like it's got that style to right. it. And that would have that wouldn't have been a trivial thing to do. Actually, getting the sort of art style to match the playfield because it's very cartoon like the the playfield art. Mm -hmm. um, it's really well done. You can see where the time has been spent on this table, and I think Mel said it was months in the making. Yeah, there's our plane so, flying in front of us. I'm sure some people will be like, "Oh, I hit the planes, I can't see the multi ball." <laughs> hey, look at that! There's three there's three globes on the um, idle area. This. Yeah. The Shankara stones. Yep. You yep. reckon they're going to be indicating ball locks? Probably. Probably. Yeah. More yeah. planes flying by. There's a biplane flying around. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty it's a pretty good uh yeah. Pretty that'll good chase. Be, when the, when this eventually comes to VR, that'll be fun. Oh, jeez. <laughs> the these new era of tables that they are coming to VR are going to be crazy when they come to VR because yeah. it's going to happen at some uh, point. That was it. I was, uh, I, was the, I was wondering if there was more glowing out of this. But, uh, yeah. There was, like, uh, little ghost things flying around. If you just play the video from that point, oh, um, really? there's, like, things are flying out, yeah. I didn't see things. Oh, I thought I saw things in the first one. I don't know. No, here, hold on. Let me back up even more. Do you see no, anything? I oh, there they are. Oh, no. See the little things, there, there the ghosties. Woo, ghosts. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Oh, I knew I wasn't going crazy. Uh, that's pretty funny. Well, not in relation to this, anyhow. Right. <laughs> so. Yeah. Wow. That's, there's so much um, stuff in there. Yeah. I don't. I don't have any complaints. 
that looks pretty yeah dang, uh, looks ready to go nice let's let's play it right <laughs> right um <laughs> Re- release it already <laughs> so let's let's show off real quick then uh yeah this is what we're gonna do go right here um let's show off a little comparison of what we can expect out of the fx3 version and the pinball effects version so this mm-hmm. would be the fx3 version uh at least yep. according to pinball is um which is interesting or maybe this is just an early render i don't know because look it's non-gold rails everything is dark chrome yeah um even the eye i have a feeling this is a i have a feeling this might be an early render it might be an early render but but yeah. look at the difference just in the the inserts, the inserts and the lights yeah. is a very flat like i'm on i'm off i'm on i'm off there's not a glow um mm-hmm. There's no bloom on the lights. No. And then compare that to this version. And that's a very nice bloom. It's not mm-hmm. even. It's it's definitely emanating more. And there's out like of there. actually if you have a look at the light sources as well, like you can see like on those green lights, there's a hot spot. Yeah. Where the actual globe is, and then it like diffuses out. Where and there is that on like that one as well. Spotlight almost. Well, it's sort of, it's, it's a, it's, it's got less, well, look, there's yeah, less here's, point. Here's side by side. Hmm. And it's more can... like the whole thing is illuminated and yeah. the other one is not. Although exactly. that being said, that, that this screenshot could have been taken at a slightly different point at the illumination of the light. So we have to factor that in as well, True. because these were just lifted from the videos. True. So, you know, um... but still you get a feeling that the light, the way the light sources work on Unreal 4 is yeah. very different to the PX engine. I mean, just so, even look at even look at the uh, apron detail. Apron detail. That's yeah. It's I mean, the if, colors if are much more saturated. A little more vibrant. A little more crisp. Yeah, yeah. It's like the one on the left has suffered a bit of sun damage. Hey, eh? yeah. <laughs> it's been in the corner of a room. It's got a bit of sun damage. Right. Yeah. So I mean, all in all, the reds are really saturated. It looks really good. Yeah, it's. I don't know. Do you guys have any complaints about this? Because from what I'm seeing, <laughs> I'm happy. I mean, mm, I'm okay with this. Yeah. yeah, and and then it comes down to obviously, you know, how are the physics on it? Um, you know, has Deep gone and tweaked any more with the Williams physics, or are we still retaining the last version of the Williams physics? Um, and then there was that I conversation. I think they've probably had time What's to that? tweak them. I think they probably had a little bit of time to tweak they them. They probably did, but it also goes into mm. that idea that we, you know, what we asked Mel, um, where he was saying there's a balancing. Obviously, once mm. they transferred things over to Unreal Engine, they had to balance the physics. It's to like, how tables, far yeah. do you go? Yeah. Um, I think it's going to be, a, I would anticipate, a, a mild improvement, probably taking into account some of the feedback that people gave um, during the last throws of FX3. Yeah. Um, I think you can expect some improvement. I don't think it's going to be a complete rewrite, though. Because yeah. well, honestly, what they had it was pretty good. Yes. Well, and that's so, just I don't think that more refinements. That is not upgrading to FX or to Pinball FX and instead of just going to stick with the FX3 version. It's not like. <laughs> It, it's if you're not buying like the days, it on it's physics, it's not like the days where alone. you're buying it. You know, you know, comparing the Nintendo physics 3DS from... version to the Nintendo Switch version. You know, whatever, where there's like a massive mm. jump in fidelity. Um, yeah, it, it's not going to be. You're, it's noticeable, but it's not like you're going to be like kicking yourself either. I don't think. There's, as we can see from those two screenshots, you've got a. It's just the feeling of playing it. I think will be different, but. From a gameplay perspective, across all the tables that are already in the product, yeah, like if you if you for whatever reason choose to stick with FX three, I well I guess this will play out when we actually get to start playing the um the the early access, but I could speculate at the moment, like you're saying, Chris, that I think you'd be probably pretty pretty happy if you're staying on FX three for now, sure. Um, and you know you're sure you're going to get a, a a different experience on pinball effects, but like it's not going to be a gross difference between the two, I don't think. Which kind of leads into the next thing that um, mm. was announced with regards to pinball effects, and that is pricing. 
Um, not that we heard mm. any pricing, but there's going to be two different options uh, with which you can play. There's the straight up purchase your tables option, and mm. then there's and the subscription. subscription model, which mm. I think will be again nice for those that are on the fence of if they if they're wondering is it going to be worth it to do the conversion. Hey, you pay your let's say it's the same as what the uh, uh, Apple Arcade is, right? Four ninety nine. Yeah. Pay your four ninety nine for one month. Play around with most of the tables that are going to be available at the moment. Because it won't be all. Mel alluded yeah. to that in yeah. the the game yeah. in in the trailer. I suspect certain licenses are going to uh, be like, no, thanks. Be a bit we funny want our about full it. Cut. <laughs> um, mm, yes, please. But it will at least give people a chance to uh, make a good, educated, you know, purchasing decision that way. Um, it gives them a really good chance to try before they buy. Because if it's going to be four dollars, or like even if it's going to be like a little bit more than that a month, like five or six. I mean, you do it for a month, you really, really flog it to death in a month, and you see, hey, yeah, okay, I'm going to save up a bit of cash and um, start to buy these incrementally, or right. as opposed to I'm buying going that to, one table and basing your entire decision off of a month of playing that. The other thing to consider too. And this might help people who you know don't want to, for whatever reason, invest in Epic. They'll get the subscription for the first year, uh, and then once it comes to Steam, that's when they'll start buying the tables. Oh yeah, right. You know, so that's actually that's a smart way of working around people who don't want to cross ecosystems mm -hmm. and want to have all their stuff in one ecosystem. So I see why, and I think that's a good call um, to offer it. Yeah, I think the subscription is really aimed more at the the casual. It's the casual player. It's the casual mm -hmm. player. Um, cuz it's want to dip the toe in, play for a couple of yeah. months, maybe then, you know, cancel the subscription for a bit and go and play, I don't know, PUBG. Well, I'm just uh, thinking, I'm just thinking it is daunting to come into a game that has this much DLC and mm -hmm. then go, "Where do I start?" And do I even want yeah. to start? And then and then you start doing the math and going, this is going to cost me how much to... A lot. Right. And that mm -hmm. will push them away, as opposed to if they do a subscription, they can mess around, play with the full breadth of the game. They're going to be able to probably then also can, you know, play with the tournaments, play with the uh, uh, mm. the Pinball Royale, you know, mess around with all that stuff, find tables that they do like, and then slowly, I'm sure Zen's idea is to slowly sink the hooks in until they're eventually just purchasing oh. a table maybe you know maybe they're buying one oh, yeah. or something like that you know foregoing this, the this coffee description and... <laughs> yeah this this subscription service is definitely the first hit is free yeah uh, <laughs> or reduce cost so uh i think you're right people will use the subscription who are like you know new to the platform yeah um because you know there are some people who this pinball effects will be the first time they will see it um um, which is a bit mind blowing, but you know it is a bit mind blowing. But <laughs> hey, look, you know there there are new people coming into the hobby all the time. Yeah, um, you know it's a really good position for the industry to be in to actually have all this extra interest in pinball. But um, yeah, there's going to be people coming in that you're, you're right; they will be very daunted by the prospects of having to buy a hundred tables plus all the other ones that are coming out this year. Yeah. Um, it's it's a large expense and this will, will give them the opportunity to try before they buy and start wish listing table packs because you could probably expect that by the time this comes out on steam all those packs will be wish listable on well, steam you, you did see what he said though they're not going to sell packs it's you build your own pack when i say packs i mean yeah individual tables mm, okay. so okay. You, just, you you buy because that's the other thing that we haven't quite come across yet. yeah you know they won't be in three pack lots. No. You'll be able to buy the tables individually, um, which was a common complaint with people. It was um, on the platform, so which, it's great they addressed that. Here's here's we've addressed this. Why did they put things in three packs? And it's a mm. simple case of economics. Where yeah, uh, I mean, let's just look at what the last release was, where you had Funhouse. Um, now I'm going to blank on everything. <laughs> space shuttle. Space shuttle. Space sh station. station. Sorry. Yeah, space station. And what was the third? Um, Dr. It was Duke. Hurricane, wasn't it? No, Dr. Dude. Oh, yeah, Do Dr. Dude. That's right. Okay. So, of those three, one of them inevitably... Funhouse. 
is going to be the one that people are like, well, that's not necessarily what we wanted. So Funhouse would be your AAA title. And yep. then it becomes a, you know, kind of a toss up. Well, is Dr. Dude the one that you wanted or was Space Station the one you wanted? For me, Space mm-hmm. Station was kind of like a, yeah, I'm not that big into it. So I would have rather had Dr. That's Dude. Right. So if I yeah. was purchasing tables individually. You wouldn't I, be buying Space Station. Not necessarily, right? Mm. So the economics are, though, you put them into a bundle. You got your AAA title, that which brings you in, pays for the other ones. The other one, but you've now also you've balanced out the payment because as far as Zen is concerned, it doesn't. Their development cost is always going to be you know about equal or whatever. So it's, yeah, it's fixed. They've still got to fund the table that they made and exactly. invest all the time in. So they've got to recoup costs somehow. Right. So, but the thing is that they kind of probably already have. And that's what I was just going to say. They've <laughs> right. recouped those costs. So now selling them individually doesn't hurt them in the least. They've already made most no. of the money that they were planning on making on those tables. This is now pure gravy. And if you're going to be making tables like Indiana Jones, well, now you avoid licensing cross-pollination issues where they're like, yeah. hey, we want the spotlight on our license. Um, you also uh, can readjust your business model <laughs> for mm. paying for these individual things. Um, and the then, other thing to probably think about too is that by doing it separately like this, um, that's I, I have a feeling that if they were in packs, um, like three packs, this like subscription based model would not work. Right. You want a constant. That's the feed. other thing. You want a constant feed. And then what Mel was even saying was this way. I, I'm more thinking like they wouldn't be able to license them because oh. they're not individual. Right. Right. But Mel was also saying mm. that. This way, let's say two of the three tables were done, but the third table is giving them a headache. Mm-hmm. And they can't get it. Oh, pump out the other two. Yeah, they can just pump them out, and then they can still yeah. just you know wait until that table is ready to go and then drop it. So if they're... It, it again, goes back to that idea of they're hoping it's to have 12 designers. I think we're looking at a table a month. In, in the I run. think we're going to get Pimble Arcade level of releases, yeah. but with Zen quality. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> which is which will be good that'll be good um yep. the only other thing that's it's a little bit scary but if you follow if you go on to reddit uh pinball fx3 has its own uh, reddit channel mm. i suggest going to it because immediately after pinball shows mel is on there akosh is on there lynn is on there um answering questions and a lot of good information gets dispensed there that isn't necessarily put out in the pinball show or it's, the information is clarified. Uh, mm. Somebody had asked the question regarding uh, the tickets that they saw. Now, mm. anybody that has played the Williams Pinball app knows that tickets are in there. They mm-hmm. also know that if that's the purchasing method of tables, that it was grossly <laughs> inflated versus what the cost was if you were purchasing it on Steam. Oh, yeah. Um, Mel addressed that in there and said, it is not going to be anything like what you we've previously done, and it seems like they are very much well aware of uh, that. The dissatisfaction that that caused. Yeah. Yeah. So I think it's fair to say that we should get a one-to-one. Um, it's just going to be hidden behind... A ticket thing. Because that way you can thing. discount. Look, they're still going... Let's make no bones about it. You know that they're going to do that classic thing that you know your Dave and Busters do, which is, hey, purchase $20 worth of game token or you know gameplay on your card. But then when you go to play the game, it's like... This Everything's $1.75. $1. $1. No, it's not. Yeah. It's like weird numbers. So yeah. you, you're always going to wind up having just like a little over mm-hmm. or a little under on the credit, making you have to purchase yeah. a little bit more. Um, yeah. I, exactly right. I wouldn't be surprised if that winds up being there, especially when things get discounted, or it's going to be, again, with that idea of you can create your own table packs. I wouldn't be surprised if it's, hey, the more tables you put in a pack, the lower the cost. Yeah, it's essentially like now 28% off the list price, now 32%, mm-hmm. you mm-hmm. know. Very similar to what you see on like the the Oculus the Oculus store uh, does this a lot, where they will bundle three games together and they give you some random discount. Like <laughs> I've seen some coming through that have been like, oh, it's it's twenty two percent off. It's like, 
what a weird number. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, sure. Let's let's I'll I'll take that. You um, say so. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. And it, it's really weird. But yeah, you're right. I think assembling your pack will be like, hey, add this extra product onto your cart and we'll the more you add, the the more we'll yeah. discount to up to an upper level. Yeah. Which might be the way that they get around people wanting to um, you know, complete their collection who don't want to actually subscribe, who just want to like buy. Yeah. Cause I had a did Mel mention, and do correct me if I'm wrong here, um, Mel mentioned that the the way that the entitlements will work for purchase tables, I have a feeling that it's going to be linked into the Zen account. And it's not going to be like, you know, you won't be able to have Steam and PlayStation. But I have a feeling that when you buy, it wasn't the, the, the case that whatever you buy on Epic comes over with you on PC. No. Uh, like no. You, it's, it's no. So he, what oh, he was saying I'm was, just... what he was saying is, <clears throat> First party entitlements still apply. So if you purchase it on PlayStation, you're only playing it on PlayStation. It's not that you can then go over to uh, your PC, PC and, and have access to. It. <clears throat> but what about on PC and PC? PC is so... going to be the same thing. You purchase it on Epic. It's not that you're now going to be able to play it in Steam when it comes to Steam. Um, right. You're, it's That's weird because I thought I, I thought I remember something like the. There's some sort of Zen account thing that was like bandied around. What he before. was saying was, is, is you're not going to purchase through Steam. You're going to purchase in game. Purchase in game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Yeah. So for Steam. Yeah, right. So you don't have to get jump out. That well, that's well, what, what it it's going to be yeah. is you're going to download yeah. the free version. Yeah. Of the game. So like when you open Epic, the, the 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 lobby and everything is going to be free, right? Don't be mm -hmm. surprised if we get a free game again. You know, is Sorcerer's Lair going to be your free game? Who knows? Maybe. Probably not. Probably not. But again, let's for the sake of argument, let's say it is. Okay. Let's so say it is. All there right. you go. You downloaded. You have Sorcerer's Lair. That's in Epic. You go over to Steam. You're going to have to download the game again. <laughs> I yeah. imagine. Probably. Yeah. And then you're you're going to have that. So there's two different storefronts. Um, yeah, yeah. But the idea of purchasing through Zen, you're right, does create an account that you have so that in the future, and some people are already speculating this, because if you play Fortnite, you can play it, you purchased it here, you can play it on other platforms. Yeah. This would be Zen's way of knowing exactly what you have purchased. There will be no doubt about what entitlements no to what game so you have. So that if I'm imagining down the line, they do clear things so that there becomes cross-play. Uh, mm -hmm. wherever you go, this is how it. This is how it. That's be. how they solve yeah. that problem. So this could be future proofing what they plan to do, just not quite yet. Right. Right. That's where I was going with this. I think because yeah. I heard that was the thing, but I, did, I wasn't quite sure the details. I've forgotten the details to be honest. So it sounds so, yeah. like we're going to get pricing information uh, with the next pinball show in February. Obviously, because mm -hmm. the game is releasing for early access in March, they're going to have to have that March. stuff in, in, yeah. in, in line. So, um, yeah, it sounds like we're going to It's going to be a busy show next month, Yeah, I reckon. Um, other things that are coming down the pike, people were asking a lot about cabinet mode. Obviously, mm. it's not ready, but uh, yeah. it sounds like they've been listening very heavily to what the cabinet... Uh, people are wanting in terms of uh, not only just table views but uh, functionality with you know interacting with their setup um, you know are the, is it going to have its own UI so that you don't have to have a separate keyboard to navigate you know but you can do everything right there on the top of your uh, on your pin cap so that information also it sounds like it's going to be coming sooner rather than later uh but again, if you want more of this info, believe me, head over to the Reddit, look up Pinball FX3, uh, that channel, and dive in because there's a ton of information. Just look for the things that are, uh, I think it's like Pinball Show Reaction, you know, thread or comment thread. Mm. And that's what you'll find uh, stuff. Um, Do you find that the same level of interaction happens on Discord as well? Or is it more Discord, just Reddit? You, you don't get answers typically from Mel or Akosh. You do mm. get answers, obviously, from Lynn a lot. From Lynn. Um, Discord is more of a quick back and forth 
obviously, because it's kind mm. of real time. Uh, it's not threaded and archived. Uh, and the other thing about Discord too is you need to actually be logged in to view it. Um, yeah. Whereas Reddit, you don't. You can right. just it's searchable. Right. So uh, let's take a look at something here, Jared, because I did manage to uh, bring it up. Hey, look at that. Yeah, it looks so good. There's our lobby, <laughs> which yep. uh, anybody that was playing uh, Star Wars VR knows what this looks like. Mm -hmm. um, so you're just going to have that single table there uh, until you walk up to it, and then a menu will pop up probably. You select your table, and then the whole you know key art and everything else will change on that. Exactly. But it will stay with that table as you wander around and come back to it. Yeah, that's right. Uh, which hopefully, if the hint that Mel was saying about will be happy with ROM carryover or uh, uh, attract mode mm -hmm. stuff, this would be where you would see it. So yeah, you would just walk up and I hope look that is the indeed the case. Um, yep. These are obviously your collectibles that you can find, you know, and everything. Again, this was nothing new to anybody that's played the VR Star Wars VR. Yeah, that's right. Uh, there's your hints at some of the uh, tables that are going to be uh, <laughs> playable there. <laughs> yep, there's all your core core pack games. Right. Right there. Because uh, that's, <clears> the, <throat> that's definitely Biolab, Biolab. Uh, obviously, uh, Wild West Rampage. Wild West Rampage. Uh, Secrets of the Deep. Yep. So, yeah. So everything's sort of like, there's looks like there's four, it could be there's four achievements that you actually can earn per table. This? And, interesting. Now, this is the other thing. <laughs> Yeah, this is this looks like virtual pinball inside virtual pinball. Right, right. <laughs> it's like, or the is strangest... it, or is it? This is where you can view somebody else playing. No, it looks interactive to me. Like, have a look at those um, pin controllers right. that they've got there. Right, all standing there. Right, just waiting for a physical release. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it looks like what you would see, like uh, almost like a tournament style play. I reckon this will, this is obviously the tournaments area. Yeah, there's a big tournament side over the top yeah. there. But I reckon that you might. These will be the three tables that you play, and essentially, it's almost like the tournaments notion in the pinball effects game itself is like a game within a game. Right. Which, if you think about it, that's totally what the tournaments layer is. It is a game within the game. Yeah. So representing the tables like this in more of a sort of more, oh, this is like a digital pinball simulation inside a digital pinball. Right. I, I think it's really nice. It's very, it's very meta and not Facebook meta. Right. Uh, it's just very, it's a, yeah, it's an interesting concept. Over on this shelf, uh, Pasha. Yeah. Rome. Pasha, yeah. Down here. Rome. Again, Wild Rush Rampage right there. Yeah. Uh, what else do we see in here? Let's see. Uh, there's more of the room, more of your collectibles. Um, um, oh. oh, there's a. Um, I actually saw there was a. Uh, if you just go back, a, probably a frame, um, just on their wall. Yeah, can you see just next to um, um, Zeus there, or son of Hercules. Zeus? Yeah, Hercules. Yep, uh, there is what looks like a um, genie lamp. Well, that's why I'm wondering if it's Pasha or... Our, Does Pasha have... Pasha's got a genie action, too. Totem. Pasha's very much a ripoff of Tales of the Arabian Nights. Totem, yeah. It so, is. who knows what that's going right. to. Because yeah. all the stuff and that then, we're seeing in here is all Zen property, as far as I can tell. Yeah, what's in the fridge, Chris? <laughs> what's in the fridge? <laughs> What's in the fridge? I Over don't know. Over there? I don't know. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Snacks. Snacks. Branded snacks. I bet you there's some beer, some Zen beer in there probably. Right? That'd be pretty yeah. funny. <laughs> um, yeah. This gives you a clue of, uh, this is your favorite tables, which is something that people have been begging for, to be able to favorite tables. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so table selection, daily rotation, favorites, owns, Zen originals, Williams pinball. Um, mm -hmm. So just click your tab and... Oh, bam. Let's sorted, see. sorted. And look at that daily rotation. That will be if you're a subscription, um, I think. Uh, uh, possibly. But that could be related to your subscription. Yeah. Or is it just a something, again, something else people have been asking for, a randomizer? Oh, yeah, it could be. You know? Yeah. Kind of a way of highlighting, here's what the tables of the day are. Um, 
don't know yeah, what it these could be unlocks. toolbox related to those two. Yeah. These unlocks. I'm not sure what this is in, involving. It looks like unlocking achievements in the game, I would say. Yeah. Uh, but I'm wondering if this has anything to do with... Uh, what know. tab selected? That will probably give you... It's just my tables is yeah, the my tab that's selected yeah. up the top. And then Can I clear that? No, I can't. No. There we go. I'll be looking forward to seeing William P. Ball on the leaderboards. <laughs> uh, what else do we see? Oh, there's our Indiana Jones. They showed us all that. Uh, yeah. Oop, hold on. Go back. Yeah, that was that. Uh, so that is... Okay. Oh, this was the tournament creation. Mm. So created by Time Left... Mm. Permissions, all open, private, player attempt, all limited, unlimited. Um, I'm wondering if there's going to be more. So those standards are all, th those settings are all standard compared to what was in the game already. Yeah. Um, but the way that they've surfaced those is a lot easier to get to. Yeah. It seems to be quite mouse focused though. Like the game, like if you're using a controller, you would know that, you know, getting through these menus could be interesting. So it'll be interesting to see how tab order works True. in this game. Because there's a lot of there's a lot of focus points in that page. Like it's pretty. It's gonna be interesting to see how interaction works with a controller. Um, uh, oh, and here is the, the table purchasing. Here's a shop. Yeah. So yeah, buy tables together. It doesn't really. But in hey, look cart, at that. Look at that currency. Yeah. Look at that little seven. Look at the little. It was seven oh eight, but you put four in there, and now it's six twenty. So th this is what I'm talking about. Like right. this thing. This is a currency. This isn't dollar dues. This is 55 units, yeah. 70 units, yeah. 620. Like, what would that be funded by? Like, is that going to convert into a currency based on the store you're in? That's going to be the interesting thing. Mm -hmm. Like, what is that? Um, so, yeah, that's going to be... Uh, and then we get some mummy... Look at this footage. Like, this is... Hey, look. What did we ask for? We asked for jeweled inserts. We got jeweled inserts on this. What did we get? Jeweled Yay! inserts. <laughs> yeah. And that transparency behind that waterfall is quite nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Got no complaints there. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Noir. Yep. This is Look so at that light casting. Uh. And the reflection in that car is in, it's off the scale. That's so shiny. Someone's really done a good cut and polish on that car. Yeah. Uh, what else do we got here? More images of Noir. Yeah. Hiding behind the phone box during a mode. Right. Yeah. Uh, that's more of that. More of that. It's kind of... Oh, there's what our pinball bus. So, play free day so you get tables, to play, play pinball oh. royale, unlock collectibles. So you can play that for free. It's essentially the mobile version of the game. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then the pinball pass access most of the pinball effects library. Play with all game modes unlocked. Any collectibles unlocked, get extra pinball royale rewards. Ah, we called that, didn't we? Get extra pinball yep. royale rewards. Again, we pointed uh -huh. a while ago to the uh, Fortnite model. And, you know, or the... Uh, uh, ah, the car soccer game. Um, uh... uh Rocket League. Rocket League, thank you. I'm like, what the heck is mm. that thing called? Yeah, where all of a sudden, if you made the purchase, you'll get little doodly pads that you can attach on. Yeah. Yeah. So that is... So this is this is the thing about Pinball Pass. That'll be interesting. Hmm. And then we have Noir a little bit. It looks very pretty, obviously. Yeah. Now we've got a little Lots more of... color in there. Um and lots of really interesting looking mechs on this game too. Mm -hmm. like there's heaps of heaps of stuff you should interact with. Um, so what do we think? Are those magnets? Yeah, they got a big magnet. Look, they look like a magnet, but like with a uh, positive and negative pole on it. Yeah, I call that Lombard lock, but right. it's not called that apparently. Um, there's another name for it. Uh, so yeah, it, it it looks like Lombard Street though. I mean, you could 
be sure they oh, were all uh, frequently asked questions we don't need to look at those yeah. uh just looking at these uh i still am not necessarily no. a fan of the cardboard cutouts <laughs> that zem likes to put on these things yeah yeah i don't i don't the, yeah i don't know quite know why that's i i probably have again. disliked I guess it's... it ever since like you know what was it the rolling stones table that stern put out <laughs> Oh yeah, make him a stick. Oh man, <laughs> as, as he's known, um, yeah, that was bad. Um, I don't know. There's anything I think they do it because they, they have to save space on the playfield. Like yeah. having a fully three D rendered model might be hard to track. Who knows? Right. Um, but still, lots of positives there. No, there's a ton of positives. I mean, it's still looking beautiful. There's no doubt mm -hmm. about it. So I don't think. Uh, I it, it's funny because you go back a year when everybody was just like just throwing haymakers at Zen. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh, Zen's dead. Uh, yeah. Williams about, Pimple's dead. You know, and, and this is what we said. It's all about marketing. It's all about hype and you got to time it right. Um, yeah. I think probably there was a little bit, a little bit too long on the hype train. I think well, yes. <laughs> the hype train could have been knocked off a couple of carriages. Yes. Let's be serious. This but is true. I think, you know, at the same time we could see why. Mm. Yeah. But time will tell. Uh, again, it, it all comes down to playability. Um, you know, when we first looked at FX3, we were also just like, oh my God, this is amazing. You know, we, you know, we thought what the potential was. And then, real quickly, it was like, matchups suck. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's right. You know, meanwhile, tournaments, which we didn't think was going to be, you know, it'd be like, oh, that'll be interesting. That thing blew up. So, yeah, exactly. Um, and this is again why they want to do early access. See what sticks. See what people. They're going to be testing. They got a couple of theories they want to be testing out in this early access. So, if you've got a PC, you should be helping out because yes. if you're passionate about pinball, this is your chance to actually give them the information they need to make the game more like what you might like, Absolutely. or what, or what generally people think is a good idea or not. So yeah, get involved. Yeah. Um, swallow your epic pride and start <laughs> downloading the game when it's available. When it's available. All right. Well, that was pretty much what we were uh, hoping to cover today. Uh, we just yeah. wanted to touch base, give our thoughts, and uh, kind of point them out visually what we uh, what makes us giddy and excited. Um, obviously, there are some people that, I don't know, they just have that VPX stick up their butt that, you know, it, it, it comes down to it's the, oh, the book is always better than the movie kind of thing. And mm. to that, I just kind of like get over yourself. You know, you can still play that. It's not a pick one or the other. Um, That's right. You know, if you want to actually support a developer and, you know, pay for the licensing like it should be, then you go this route. And if you want to uh, skirt all of that and deal with, inconsistent tables across different authors and uh, having to worry know. about getting them working yep then you can go the vpx route go for it yeah you know if you like to tinker vps if you exactly. just want it to work it's in exactly mm. um like i said we think next time we're going to uh well <laughs> our next recording session we're doing an interview whether that yep. will be the next episode that's a whole other story but we don't know <laughs> we don't know we're excited to bring it to you so stay tuned here um Beyond that, I think, uh, look, we're l hoping to get a beta in our hands on uh, Pinball FX. Mm. And we'll see what we can uh, squeak out information-wise and what has to stay under covers. But yep. uh, as always, we'll keep you as much informed as possible. Yeah. So until then, I guess we'll be talking about Jared's favorite things. Which are stuff and things. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye-bye. <laughs>